my name is Jenna and I put out videos every Tuesday about home decor, DIYs, home decor hauls. So if things like that interest you, please, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video because it really does help my channel. So now that we have that out of the way, let's get into today's video. Today I will be doing three Pottery Barn dupe DIYs using nothing but the object itself and a can of spray paint. So a lot of these objects are things that you can easily find at the thrift store, the dollar store. They're actually very cheap if you just buy them new, or you might even have them laying around your house like I did. So hopefully these will be cheap ways that you guys can elevate your home decor. Let's get into the project. All right, so our first Pottery Barn dupe is going to be this dipped vase. Pottery Barn has this guy priced at $149. And the one that we're going to be doing today is actually more so like the one from Serena and Lily, which is actually still priced at $128. So the fact that we can do this for like $10 is awesome. So this is the vase that I will be using. I got this guy for $7 at Tuesday morning. I've seen vases like this at Home Goods for $15 and under. Hobby Lobby has a lot of glassware. You could go to the thrift store, the dollar store. So just find a cute glass vase that will fit in your space and we're gonna update it. All right guys, so I got my vase here and a pair of scissors, which hopefully you guys have in the house, um, some painter's tape and a grocery bag. All right guys, so we're just gonna put our painter's tape where we want that dipped effect to start. I chose a spot about two thirds of the way down. I do feel like having a flat vase all the way around definitely helped with this. So that's something to keep in mind when choosing your vase as opposed to a vase that curves. Next, we're just gonna take a Trader Joe's shopping bag. I cut the handles off and I'm taping it around so it doesn't get on the top of the vase. All right, for this project, we're just gonna be using the Rust-Oleum Chalked Spray Paint in Linen White. I feel like it does give it a really nice look being the chalk spray paint as opposed to just like a shinier spray paint. But that's just personal preference. Obviously, you can use whatever spray paint you want. Um, you can even use like a black spray paint to make it look more like the Pottery Barn one, or if you just have a certain color on hand that you think will look good, do that for sure. I just use white because I felt like it matched my space a bit better. So I did do about three coats on this guy because I wanted to make sure that it was really white looking to get that dipped effect. I didn't want it to look faded at all. All right, so here is for the most satisfying part, ripping all of that tape off. Clearly, I am very excited if you cannot tell by my face, but it really did feel good to just rip that painter's tape off and I was really happy with how clean that edge was. So there you guys can see it with a close up. I'll show you it styled in a second, but I just wanted to show a close up of how straight that line was and how much it looked like I really did just dip it in paint. All right, so this is the before, just pretty plain and simple. And here is the finished product, you guys. I love how this came out. I put some of my new branches from Hobby Lobby in there and I just love that dipped detail at the bottom. I feel like this would look good in a lot of different spaces and with a lot of different styles. All right, so our next, Pottery Barn dupe is going to be this charcuterie board. Pottery Barn has this price for $119. So I got the charcuterie board at Bed Bath & Beyond for $15. I will link it below. I was just not crazy about it. Something about it just seemed a little simple and plain to me. So I figured this would be a really fun way to update this and make it look a little bit more high end. So I did just want to disclaim that I'm only using mine for decoration on my countertop, which is very trendy these days. So obviously I had to jump on the bandwagon. I just hadn't found any boards that I really liked enough to put them there. So hopefully this is going to do the trick. If you do want to serve food on this, I would definitely either use a non-toxic spray paint or use a food safe sealer once it is spray painted. All right, so we're just gonna start by taking some masking tape. I was actually out of painter's tape in this width, so I used masking tape and it honestly worked really good. So if you have any masking tape and you're out of painter's tape, this works totally fine as well. So I just started out by taping out two lines on both sides. And when I flipped it over, I made sure to leave a little bit of overhang so I could line it up with the other piece of tape. So lastly, I just wanted to make sure I didn't get any paint on the little metal circle on the handle. So I used a piece of masking tape, cut it out with an X-Acto knife around the edges, and this ended up working perfectly. 
So for this project, we will also be using the Rust-Oleum Chalked Linen White. It is actually the same can that I had left over and there was plenty enough for both projects. So I just did three to four coats on this side and then let that dry completely and then I turned it over and did the same thing on the other side. All right, so now that that is good and dry, we are going to peel the masking tape off and just like that. Oh, I'm so obsessed with how this came out. I think it's so cute and such an easy fix, but don't worry, I didn't cut out the scene of me pulling the tape off because I just feel like that's so satisfying. Am I the only one who feels this way? <laughs> Okay, so these next steps are totally optional, but I just wanted to give my charcuterie board a little coat of clear acrylic sealer to make sure that the paint wasn't going to chip off and that if I did splash something on it, it would wipe off. So I used this matte one and I got it at Walmart, but you can find it at any craft store. I did take a little trip to Walmart to get some cord to put through the hole on the end of the handle and I liked this stuff but I wasn't crazy about it. I just knew starting at Walmart would be the cheapest so I left Walmart and then I went to Michael's and as you can see they did have a much better selection so I narrowed it down to three types of leather cord that I thought would look good at the end. So I narrowed it down to these three choices and I eventually picked the middle one just because it matched the charcuterie board the best, but I did really love that one on the right. But I wasn't sure how easily I could loop it in a knot. Also when I was filming this in store, the Michaels employees thought I was crazy because I was just dropping these things all over the place and making a mess. But I thought it turned out really cute just knotted on there. It's super simple, but I feel like it does dress it up quite a bit. Alright, so here is a before shot of the charcuterie board I got from Bed Bath & Beyond. Okay, you guys, I love how this came out. It's probably my favorite one out of the three dupes that I did. I really love the decision to do the leather pull on the end. And I think it'd be really fun to layer these with one behind it that was the reverse. So like a square one that had white stripes and the rest wood. All right, so our next dupe is going to be these black candle holders, which I just feel like can really go anywhere on your dining room table, on a nice console table, anywhere you just like wanna dress up a space to make it feel a little bit more fancy. So these guys go anywhere from $30 to $80 per candlestick. Um, today, I'm going to be using these candlesticks that I got at Ross. This guy was $4.99 and this guy was $6.99, which I thought was a really good deal considering one of these can be like $12 to $15 at Home Goods. So I scooped these up. There was actually another girl looking at them and she left them and I was like, Whoop. You can also find candlesticks at Goodwill. I almost always see them there. Um, you can also get them at the dollar store. You can use the trick where you stack them on top of each other to get one taller than the other. So yeah, I originally liked that these were wood, but I just kind of am bothered that they're not the same color. So I figured this was a great solution. We're gonna clean them up and make them look just a little bit more elegant. All right, so this time I'll be using the Rust-Oleum Chalked Spray Paint in the shade Charcoal. I will also link all of the materials that I have been using down below with the cheapest price that I can find online. Um, so since these were actually darker, it was easier to do because I needed to do less coats. So I think I did two coats total on both of these. And because of that, it made this project super, super easy and quick. I will say everybody in my apartment complex, though, is wondering what the deal is because I'm pretty sure they all would just step outside and smell spray paint <laughs> with all the fumes that I have been putting out for these projects. I'm not really sure why I got footage of these guys drying, maybe because there was really no other part to this project. I don't know. But I actually did decide to do a coat of the acrylic sealer that I used on the charcuterie board because I figured, hey, I have it here and why not? So again, this is totally optional, but I just kind of feel better sometimes if my spray paint is sealed. All right, guys, so here's one more last look at our two mismatched friends. Woohoo! I seriously feel like these look like they could be in a Pottery Barn magazine. There is just something about black candlesticks that make a room feel more elegant but cozy at the same time. All right, and our last spray paint transformation is actually not necessarily a dupe, 
but I felt like I was going to include this because it was very Pottery Barn-esque and I just feel like a coat of spray paint really transformed this guy. Okay, so this is a floor length mirror. Um, this was actually my old roommate's. We were moving and she just didn't want it and I didn't have a lot of furniture. So I was like, I'll take it. I have this from probably like three or four years ago. Shout out to Laura if you're watching. Um, but I like the edges, how they're kind of like textured, if you can see that. But um, we're just gonna be giving this guy a coat of matte black. There's something just very satisfying about watching a fresh coat of spray paint freshen up an old object. So yeah, just go to a thrift store and see what you can find. If you can find something similar, maybe a picture frame. So yeah, I think you guys will appreciate this transformation. <laughs> All right, you guys, so we have this thing all taped up, kind of similar to how we did the vase. I just used some Walmart bags, shout out Walmart, with um, some painter's tape. And I just wanted to do this to show you guys that you can really kind of transform anything with spray paint. So I just started out here by using the Rust-Oleum chalked paint that we used on the candlesticks. But after I applied the first coat I kind of realized that it looked a little bit more of like a gray color which I wasn't crazy about on this mirror. I did really like it on the candlesticks just because it looked more like oil rubbed bronze but I wasn't feeling it on the mirror so I actually ended up switching over on the second coat to this guy which I will link below and you can even see I'll hold the lid of the spray paint can up next to the dried coat and you can see how much darker it is so so I did the second coat with this guy and I felt like it really made a difference. So like I said, I'll link it below if you guys are interested. So here is our lovely before shot of the mirror. Please excuse the mess in our apartment. We are just living a little crazy right now with all of our house furniture crammed into our tiny 600 square foot apartment. <laughs> But I honestly think this turned out so good. It's crazy what a can of spray paint and a little bit of styling can do. I think this would look really good in maybe a guest room propped up against the wall or just in a hallway if you need to check your outfit before you head out the door. All right guys, so that is it for today's video. I had a lot of fun making this video. I love stuff like this. So please don't forget to leave me a comment if this is something you guys wanna see more of. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my Restoration Hardware vase dupe because that's a super fun one. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!